With ceramics, it's less of an expression of like this personal idea and more just like, this is what I think will feel good in my hand. And so it's just a different mindset and it's a new way of thinking about making things for me, which does feel freeing. This is porcelain, which is really soft, kind of like the nicest to throw. So this is just called centering the clay. When I first threw it down, it was like wobbling all over the place. What you're trying to do is just like apply pressure like both in and down at the same time. My background is as a photographer and I always shot on film and developed the prints myself, which is totally dying out. But with ceramics, it's like the way I do it is the same way you would have done it 50 years ago, is the same way people are gonna do it in 50 years. You can't cut out too many of these steps. I've been doing production ceramics for about a year. Before that, it was a hobby. My skills have really grown because I took a lot of classes as a kid with the same teacher my whole childhood and then I took one class in college when I studied abroad and that was it for all my formal training. And then I just kind of start to gradually thin out the sides, the walls, and you really can't rush that part. I remember that first order I ever did wholesale was about 50 pieces and I remember feeling like, oh my God, 50 pieces, like the most I ever did was make a set of eight dishes as a gift to my parents. But now I feel like I can throw 200 pieces and it's like, it's not overwhelming to me. Well, this is my least favorite part. Oh, fucker. This is kind of my standard mug shape. It's pretty straight silhouette on either side and then a small round handle. This is a planter that has a little hole that drains into the saucer instead of having a separate saucer. Some potters are super precise and make everything exactly the same, either by just being very scientific with their method or by slip casting when you have a mold and you just refill that mold over and over. I'm not really capable of making things perfectly uniform and I'm not that interested in it because I think if you're going out of your way to purchase a handmade object, then you do want that character, that like special handmade feel. You score the surface and then you put some slip and you press it on. Every kiln I fire, I want to have a piece in there that's like an experiment because otherwise, every time you open the kiln, if it's just 50 things that you know exactly how they're going to come out, it just becomes rote and it doesn't feel fun. I don't want to strictly be a product designer who just makes functional objects. I want to be able to be involved in various projects that all kind of are aspects of my expression.